this many cars lined up. So anyways, uh, just had kind of a mind-blowing conversation. This is interesting. Um, some of you might know from my previous videos that I I'm friends with uh, Chi Gong Master. And he, he truly is what he's supposed to be. And, you know, it's funny. I had a video up, and I talked about how he... Uh, I had, like, a, a bad wrist. Uh, my right wrist was, like, I don't know. It's just bad, right? It's, like, sprained, sore. It had a ligament torn, a nerve pinched, whatever. It, it hurt when I uh, moved it in certain ways. And uh, it, 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 it was like that for over two years. And I went to a, this Qigong... I was already friends with the guy, and I just never thought of mentioning it to him. And then one day I, I mentioned it to him, just kind of casually. And then he just takes my hand, starts, like, massages a few different spots, causes me a huge amount of pain. And then he, like, yanks my arm. He just kind of, like, grabs my arm and gives it a yank. And my whole arm goes uh, pins and needles. Goes, my, my whole arm falls asleep from the one yank. And then, uh, crazy traffic, eh? And then, uh, and then, yeah, and then he goes, he says to me, like, right away, he's like, go, go push down on that table. Because that was the problem. I couldn't push down. I couldn't put my hand flat and push down on anything. Uh, for my scooter, you need to push down on the seat for it to lock. And I, I couldn't do it with my right hand. It, it hurt too badly. So he, 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 uh, he told me, he goes, go push down on that table as hard as you want. And I'm like, like, right away, you know? And then I went and did it. I pushed down, and there was no pain whatsoever, and there hasn't been since then. Thanks. It's like, see, what you have is a huge line of traffic here, and then every once in a while a car will fit along the side, cut in line like three or four spaces, and then, and then force his way back in. And it's like, I don't agree with that. If you're in a, because like, if you're on a bike, of course you can do it, because you're not, I'm not slowing this line down. I'm actually speeding this line up because I'm just filtering, and then I'll go to the very front and I'll disappear, you know? So if, if every scooter and motorcycle fit into this line and just sat there in line, then the line would be twice as long. So by scooters going to the side and just filtering, we're, we're speeding up the traffic immensely. But for cars, just to cut, go to the side, cut four spaces and force the way back in, they're actually creating more traffic because they're just creating a, 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 they're becoming an obstacle. Anyways, off topic. So, I'm fr so the, yeah, the Qigong guy, he, he, I had a two year, over two year problem with my wrist and he 100% cured it in less than five minutes, probably like two, two minutes. Anyways, and I've, I've taken a few different people there to him for a few different problems, and he's fixed them. There's a guy from America who has some fairly severe nerve damage to his face. And because of my videos, he's flying all the way out to Taiwan to meet that one guy, which is kind of insane. Because, he, well, for one thing, there's got to be at least <laughs> one good Qigong doctor somewhere in America, right? There can't not be. But... Um, Nonetheless, he's, uh, you know, but, but the thing is, is like, like I've, I've said it before, uh, probably when it comes to Qigong doctors, probably 49 out of every 50 are not the real thing. Uh, and the reason for that is because I think you have to, to be a Qigong doctor, you, there, you have to be a, a, a special type of person. But you don't really know if you're that special type of person or not without first uh, trying, right? Like, first you'd have to study Qigong for, like, a couple of years. And then you'd discover that you don't have a knack for it. But you've already spent money on schooling and studying it for a few years. So how can you, you know, after you've invested time and money, it's not that easy to just say, Oh, well, I don't think I'm good at this. Let's just quit. So what I, what I think happens is they invest the time and money studying it. They figure out they don't have a knack for it, but that's okay because they now have a degree, they have a piece of paper saying they've studied it for a few years so they can go and they can get a job at a, at a, at a Chinese clinic. See, and then there you had somebody cutting in line as well. You had some guy that just pulled into the oncoming lane and he's just gonna keep driving until another car comes and then he's gonna, you know, like, cut back in. Just fucking people. It's rude. If you're in a car, just suck it up. See, that's what this woman's gonna do. 
she's just, or maybe, the, unless she's making a U-turn like some of these people are doing. But look at this car up ahead. He's just, he's just gonna drive along in the oncoming lane and just cut. I just smashed his mirror off. You might have heard a bang. Um, well, I didn't smash it off. I just punched it in. Put mirrors fold back, so I didn't break it. No big deal. Um, yeah, so... But anyways, yeah, so I was talking with the, the Qigong master, and it was, a, it was a rather intense conversation. Whew. We were talking about, like, uh, ghosts and all sorts of stuff, and spirits, and... Uh, uh, this this is interesting. He 